Hello, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I am here at my warehouse and I'm gonna be doing an updated warehouse tour for you guys because I realized it's been like almost a year since I've shown you guys what's going on here. A lot has changed and we've switched some things up. So I'm gonna hop right into the video. All right, so we got our little guard dog here keeping watch. <laughs> um, here is our front door. It walks straight into the showroom. This is where we take a lot of our pictures. We have like little flat lays on the ground. We lay a little sheet down. It has really good lighting in here. This is the only room in the warehouse where there are windows. Uh, when I first moved in here, I tried putting the computers back in the warehouse because I figured it would be really smart to, you know, keep the computers where the inventory is at. It'd be like the quickest way to package it, but it was so depressing. I could not do it. So I moved them out here. Kind of got to like rearrange your warehouse quite a few times to figure out what makes you happy and what works for you. So this is the showroom. Nothing too special. This is inventory that's going to be going to the Reno store. It's really cool having a brick and mortar and an online store because when things don't sell um, online, we can transfer them to one of the brick and mortar stores and they would sell like crazy there. Um, here is our office, I guess you could call it. This is where we package all of our orders. We used to have masks lined up on this entire desk. During the pandemic, we started selling masks and it really, really helped save us. And we were using these cute little uh, poly mailers from this cute company that I found, but we're, we're almost out of them and they're pretty much sold out of everything on the website. So one of my next tasks is going to be making custom poly mailers because I think that just adds such a cute touch. I'll show you guys if you're interested, just kind of like little sizing tags, shipping labels. We got tissue, tape. These are all things you need if you're going to be starting an online store. We have uh, blank poly mailers just so we can repackage clothing that lost their little poly mailer. Um, got this really nice whiteboard here. We write like little notes back and forth to each other. I work things here. This is kind of just random things we work on when everything else is done. We have our boxes here. I pretty much just stick with three sizes. A lot of you ask what size I use for hats and this is um, pretty much the main size, 15 by 12 by 10. All right, and then this is where we take some more of our pictures. I set up a cute little hat wall here, but it's definitely time for a change. This has been here forever. And I wanna do something that's really eye-catching. That would be a good backdrop for the mirror here. We take a lot of our shoe pictures. And again, we just have like a, a lot of little props here and there that we um, just try to keep the pictures fresh with. This is for flat lays. I used to use these a lot, but not so much anymore. Uh, I got all this stuff from Hobby Lobby and it just adds like a nice little pop to the picture. I love using this grass. It's just simple and you know, just kind of like fills a little corner when you need it. And then coming into this room, we have two hat rooms and these used to be completely stacked to the ceiling. And we are finally kind of getting low. It's really funny to see how trends change because hats used to be the number one thing that we sold and now I would definitely say it's shoes. I feel like people are kind of getting over hats. They used to be super, super trendy and kind of hard to get your hands on cute styles, but now I feel like a lot of stores do have them and we are not selling through them as fast as we used to, but they're still a great seller, hence why we have so many. But here is our main warehouse room. Okay, so you guys can see how much we have grown our shoe section. I think we used to have only like eight of these I'm not sure how many were in the last video, but we have so many. So I'll start just kind of like at the back of the warehouse and then show you guys some things. So here's where we keep all of our accessories. This has been such a lifesaver. I never used to know how to skew accessories because they're so small and you couldn't really throw them in a huge bin like I have with the clothes there just because it would be, you know, messy. So I found this really awesome... Uh, I don't even know what to call it, shelving unit. And I labeled each box. So we have one through 70 labeled. And then here's where we keep all of our jewelry. So I'll show you an example, box 35. We have the visualize your dreams necklace. So you see where it says box 35 on the invoice, it would say that. So we would know to come back here and grab this. If you guys wanna see how I like pick orders and package, I can do like a follow me to work day edition 
or warehouse edition if you would like that. Um, okay, so we have all of our shoe towers labeled. I labeled them through the alphabet, so A, B, C, D, E, and then it just kind of wraps around here. We've got a good little system going. And I talked about this in the last video as well, but um, we have them skewed. So A1, A2, A3. It's so easy to find stuff. So look how many shoes we have. I'm so excited, you guys. We are looking organized. Have you ever seen such an organized warehouse? So satisfying. Thank you so much to Allie, who has made this beautiful. She is the best. She's worked for Nomad Boutique for a long time. Thank you so much, Allie. We have really good systems here. So um, she started this year and just like hopped right into it. And yeah, we have great organizational systems. So it's really nice. When we get new clothing in, we have our whole little procedure that we do to put them away. Okay, so there's all of our shoes. You can see that we're like halfway into the warehouse. We have so many new styles. I just love selling shoes. It's so fun because who doesn't love a new pair of shoes? All right, so here's all of our clothing. Same kind of system as the shoes. We try to keep them folded nicely and stacked nicely in the bins just so they don't get wrinkled. Um, if you're sewing you're like really old things and you don't have them nicely stacked, customers will complain about them being wrinkled. I had a girl file chargebacks for wrinkled clothing and you know it's the most frustrating thing. She actually won the chargeback. I'm going to be doing a video on chargebacks by the way too because they've been pissing me off and I want to help you guys avoid having your money stolen from you. Um, so let me know if you want to see that too. But I'm just kind of like walking back, showing you what's going on here. Our belts. We used to sell a lot of belts online, but not so much anymore. So I'm going to be bringing these to our store locations just to get rid of them because our customers love them there. They're super inexpensive. They're really cute too. Our belts range from like 8 to $12, which is nice. Okay, and then we are at the end of the warehouse here. So I have all of my packaging supplies. Lots and lots of boxes. Here is the retail display graveyard. So these are things that I just kind of got sick of looking at at my retail stores. I always like to switch it up and keep it fresh there. Our customers love seeing, you know, new ways that we display our clothing and new fixtures and stuff like that. So super important to just change so it up. So that's pretty much what we have going on here. Things that I want to change, I definitely want to condense both hat rooms into one room just because I feel like that can definitely be done and I can be utilizing that space better. There's like some gaps and I just feel like we could find a better use um, for this square footage here. So I'm gonna be doing that. And then another thing that is one of my main focuses, I'm gonna be looking for models for TikTok and for reels on our Instagram, just because Instagram is trying to be TikTok so hard and they are pushing their reels. They're definitely suppressing photos. I've noticed that my whole feed is like, all video and a lot of big boutiques that I've followed for a long time that have been doing the same thing for almost a decade now, they're now doing videos. And I'm realizing that I'm definitely missing out by not, you know, like putting myself on TikTok. I just cannot bring myself to learn dances and do stuff like that. Like I'm 33 years old and I just, <laughs> I can't. So I want to hire some like cute girls that are really trendy and know like, you know, the TikTok world and stuff like that. So those are my plans. Um, I'm super excited to build a little backdrop in the corner there and make it look really cute. Um, I just need to get the lighting dialed. I need to make sure it's nice and bright. So yeah, that's gonna be some summertime projects of mine, but I'm gonna get out of here and go give my little dog a walk at the river. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you so much for watching my videos still. It's really exciting seeing all the comments in my last video. So definitely say hi to me down below. Let me know what types of videos you want to see from me next. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.